The big story tonight is that cold case dig in Macomb Township. It's now in day two. Tonight we're uncovering new information about the possible number of victims that could be buried in the woods and the man police say is behind their disappearance. Lawrence Police Commissioner confirming to us today they are looking for the remains of four to six girls. And for the first time, police are calling this man, Arthur Reem, a serial killer. They believe he's behind the girl's disappearance. The focus of the search is a wooded area near 23 Mile and North Avenue. And tonight we have Team 7 coverage, including why it could take days before anything is found. But we begin with 7 investigator Jim Kurtzner, and Jim is live at the search site tonight with what he's learning about the victims. Jim, what can you tell us? Carolyn and Dave, now that Arthur Reem is being called a serial killer, police believe this field is where he dumped the bodies of his victims going back decades. Take a look behind me. You can see the search has now ended for day two. There are officers on the scene. They will keep this secure overnight and the search will resume tomorrow. Reem led police here 10 years ago to find one victim, but that search, that case ended then and there. Now, this is much more. You know, people have kids that play around here and just to think about that, you know, it's, it's really scary. And I feel so bad for the families that are missing those kids. Police now say Arthur Reem is responsible and a serial killer. He will turn 69 years old tomorrow while doing life without parole in prison in Muskegon. He's also convicted of a child rape. More excavators were brought in today as the search in this remote field widens on day two. Police say they will dig as long as it takes to find the remains of what could be four to six girls, teens, and preteens. Ten years ago, Reem led police to where he buried 13-year-old Cindy Zarzicki, who disappeared in East Point in 1986. Police say when they examined several other cold cases and confronted Reem, he failed a polygraph in February. He has not confessed. But their search is also for 12-year-old Kimberly King, who disappeared in 1979. And two new names being made public today. Kim Marie Laurel has been missing since 1981 from Canton, when she was last seen at an ice cream shop. She was only 15. Kelly Brownlee has been missing since 1982. She was 17, last seen at 12 Oaks Mall. And the dig for possible victims has caused people in this quiet neighborhood to keep their kids and grandkids inside. I haven't let them out here since this started. Now we've been told no remains have been found yet. They're done for the night. They will continue tomorrow. And I am told if they do find human remains and even if they have been buried underground for decades, they will be able to use DNA to make a positive ID. Dave, Carolyn. Just the thought of it. So sad, Jim. Are family members of these missing girls reacting to these new developments tonight? Yeah, we are hearing from the sister of Kimberly King. As I said in that report, she disappeared in 1979 at only 12 years old. The sister says you can imagine what they've gone through 39 years of uncertainty and agony. They're still trying to process this in, in their heads. She said that her father is now 80 years old. The entire family still waiting to see if indeed they find the human remains out here. I bet the up and down just heart wrenching. Thank you so much, Jim, for the live report, Dave. Eh?